if you use that, you it will be, give you strength. Mm. Uh, okay, you get strength. Okay. And it will give you. Uh, more so guys welcome to my channel my name is Kesiyama and as usual still is in the western region at the backyard of mommy's garden we decided to go prune some ayoyo which will be ready for the market in the next few minutes after pruning because we will have to bind them all together before that um, it's one CD two CDs depending on what you are doing if it's for commercial purposes for instance if you're going to use it to prepare large quantity of food you need to buy at least um, five six or seven but if you want to use it at home, you can buy only one, maybe for some little benkun that you're eating, for some um, kukunte, for some TZ. The ayoyo that you go and then buy with a TZ in a market, this is how it looks like. It's some tiny leaves that will grow. So at the end of it, if it is ready, you come and then prune it. One funny thing is you don't approach it with a root, but rather you prune them from the, the main, should I say, yeah, from the main stake or something. This is how it looks like. This is how it looks like. So you don't you don't you don't approach it, neither do you cut the whole the whole tree down, but rather you prune them so that uh, in three to four days minimum you you can still come back and then prune as much as you can. So still in the western region showing you some um, bits about what i'm doing here or the lifestyle i'm living here in the rural area don't forget to hit smash on the subscription button if you are a new subscribe if you are a new person here and then don't forget to leave a comment let me know what you think about you have you seen it before in a comment section let me let me know as a returning subscriber thank you for always being part of the family my name is Casey Ama. be with me let me explore with you what we have here in the rural area before i go back to the city to those who don't know ayoyo ayoyo is um, some leaves that can, are being used in addition with okra to prepare some delicious okra stew um, and most often it is being used to in combination with TZ or even Benkun but today I'm here to uh, make some ayoyo ready for the market I just want you to see or know how we're doing it before that I just grab a knife that's what I'm going to use to cut it and remember it is a seed it is some seeds just some tiny tiny seeds i'll show you how the seed look like but it, it is a seed that are being nursed or being like spread in a fertile land and not just any land but rather mostly muddy areas and as you can see where i am currently it's muddy so just let's go harvest it and uh, you know how it even looks like so this is it Cutting it like this. This is what will be ready for the market. This is what we're going to take to the market. So after cutting it like this, we still have the roots down there. So it will still it will still grow another one because the root is still down here. So automatically, it will still um, get some branches, which will be fresh ones and new ones as well. So you can continue to prune this as much as you can and now that I've cut this one in the next three days three to four days uh, it will still bring another one out there will still be a new leaf or some new leaves on a new branch that you still supposed to come in and cut them off so you just don't approach it with the, the the roots, but rather you cut the branches that has uh, come on it or come around it, so that it can still bring another one, fresh ones, for you to cut them as much as you can. So this is ayuyu, as I said earlier on. Mo mostly it is used in combination with TZ, kokonte, and benkun. You can use it with anything, so far as you want okra in that food that you're eating. 
So this is it. Let's continue to do more so you can see how it looks like. Tell them something. So how much? How much is it? The one you're holding. How much is it? Or how much do you bundle it? One CD. You bundle it for one CD. One for one. One for one CD. I bundle one CD. One CD. And do people buy it plenty, or only one is enough? Okay. Okay, so what mommy means is it, it depends on what you are using it for. So if you want to use it for um, commercial purposes, for instance, if you're selling food and you want to buy them, you have to buy like five cities, ten cities, fifteen cities. But if you want to use it home for yourself, like two cities will be enough for you, right? Mommy, two cities will be enough for you if you want to use it home. Yes. So, what what is the benefit of IUU? Like, what is the benefit of it? If you use IUU, it will be, give you strength. Mm. Uh, okay, you get strength. Okay. And it will give you uh, more more energy. Energy. Oh wow! Yeah. So. Is it used uh, together with Oku or you can use this one alone? You can use it together with Oku. But you can use this alone? You can use it alone. If you cooking a uh, palm soup, mm -hmm. you can put some in, in, in it. I see. I see. I see. So as mommy is saying, no matter the soup that you are cooking, you can add a yo-yo to it. But mostly people do prefer it with some okra stew. Okay. Okro soup with some banku, with some abete, with some tz, and all sort of that. So, guys, this is this is mommy's ayoyo garden, uh, ayoyo together with okro. So, guys, we are done pruning the ayoyo, and this is where I bring this video to an end if you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section and don't forget to tell us what you know about ayoyo and even the other foods that can be taken together with ayoyo so that we can all enjoy ayoyo together with all those food but please and please again don't go without subscribing to this channel kindly smash on the subscription button and hit on the notification bell as well my name is Kwesi Ama and I'm out. Bye-bye.